Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We will create some wireframes with Figma and we will see why Figma is a great tool for creating these wireframes. So let's start. What we will see in the video, we will see what is a wireframe, why uh, Figma is a great tool for creating wireframes. We'll see the components of a wireframe and uh, then we will see the interface of Figma and we'll try to replicate one interface. In this case, we'll replicate the YouTube interface. But uh, let's go back to the process. What is a wireframe? Uh, in the process of creating some interfaces, the first thing that we do is draw a sketch, like something on, on paper that we could have. Then we get to the wireframe. That is like refining that, that concept, but we'll get rid of colors. We want to get like the, the total functionality of the of our like actually our sketch and then we will go to the mock-up and then we'll prototype and make that uh, this interface more functional uh, it like uh, it will get more high-end in this in this point we'll need something like kind of low-end but uh, what it's uh, this wireframe in, uh, in this part of the UI it's like this trip down blueprint uh, that it's not it's like the, the interface that we will see that it's uh, we'll focus just on the the low fidelity and just the structure of, uh, of, the, of our kind of, of, of interface we're developing. Uh, but why Figma is great for creating wireframes? Well, it's easy to use and it's a great tool for collaboration. Also have an extensive library of tools, resources. We'll see that we could create a lot and also we could import things from FigJam. Uh, also have some building prototyping features that we will see uh, in another video and also we could we will be able to integrate with other tools but uh, with that let's jump to Figma I will go to my uh, to figma.com and this will be the, the initial the initial screen that I will have and in this initial screen I will uh, just uh, go to design file in design file I will be able here's the name of my account and the team that I'm working I could do it in the in the design team that it's like also here we will be able to see the teams uh, but or also I also could do it on drafts uh, and here we'll see like uh, this is the main screen we'll be able to see the recently seen projects the projects and also my teams my account uh, but let's start with a fig jam file I will create it on my uh, on, on this team then it, it will open a, a Figma file. Remember that it's the great thing about Figma is that it's it's web, so you could access your files everywhere. And also, uh, let's start with the interface of Figma. The interface of Figma is divided in three main parts. This that will be like the like where we will see like the kind of layers, or we will see the pages and the assets, also some part of the components. Uh, we'll, you, you, we will see what is that, but it's like where we will see like uh, the, the structure of our files. Then we have like the toolbar, we'll be able to see all the, all the tools that we are able to, to use. Here we, we see the, the name of our file and how we could save it. And in here will be the, the inspector. Uh, the inspector, uh, it's like all the, all the properties of a, of a file. But well, uh, how could we start with Figma? Uh, let's go back, uh, back to the toolbar. And in the toolbar, we will be able to see this one. This is a selection tool. Right now, there's nothing in our in our like uh, workspace that is will be this one, the, the one in the middle. But we could create something. Let's create uh, just one cube. I will just grab the cube, uh, the cube element, and I will pinch it, and I will click and drag. And that way, I'm creating one cube. But the interesting thing about uh, Figma. It's that that cube slips like anywhere. Uh, it, you will see in here that the world, this rectangle slips in, in it anywhere. Uh, what I will need to create with, it, with Figma, it's some kind of frames. The frames will be the screens that we will work with. And uh, to create a, a frame, we'll need to go to here to frame. Also, there is the shortcuts that we could use. Uh, we could use uh, the F for frame. And when I click frame, I will have, uh, I could uh, also click and drag and I could create one, uh, one frame and in here in the spectre I will, I will be able to see the, the, the dimensions that I created. Uh, so here I have a width of 339 by six, 614. Uh, but what, what is this frame? Like uh, to see it more clear, the frame is the screen. So when I click in frame, you, you will see in the spectre that also I got some options. For example, I could create the screen for a desktop or I could create the screen, if I go back to frame, I could create it for a phone, I could create a, a, an Android large, and here I could create different kind of screens. And for example, 
this rectangle, I will be able to drag it to the desktop. And you will see that it lives now inside my 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 this this interface or this this screen that I that I this frame that I just created. I also could drag it. I could create another one, another uh, rectangle inside the Android Large, and this rectangle will will dip in this uh, inside this frame. So I move this one. I move this one. And for example, if I create one outside, it will not. Uh, it will be independent of these elements. Uh, what it's cool about uh, uh, Figma is that I could create all these frames and like uh, go uh, around all of them. So I will create like all the all the the interiors of of uh, for example a website that uh, the interface that could be a website. So uh, let's uh, keep this. I uh, will delete uh, with uh, with backspace my my element. Also, I could do it with right click and uh, in here I could uh, delete and I think it's no I think it's just with a with a backspace uh, well uh, then I will uh, add another element I could create different kind of elements I could create for example lines I could create cir circles uh, I did the, the straight line with a uh, with shift I press I press shift because it's like I just want a straight line, uh, so I just press shift. Uh, I could create some ellipses. I, if I press shift, I could like make them even. Uh, and and also, I could create another kind of uh, of shapes. Or I could like uh, also play some images from my from my from my computer. But also some interesting thing that I could do. It's I could create, for example, this kind of uh, of elements that it's. Um, that it's uh, the the shape or the like SVG figures. If have you ever played with Illustrator, you will you will get uh, these vectors. I could create, for example, this this uh, different kind of vectors and create different kind of shapes. I could also create some bezels to create like some curves, and I could create more complex shapes. And these are our uh, SVG elements. So it's really interesting the things that I could do with uh, Figma. Uh, I will go to my select tool to to go uh, to make zoom. I just like uh, click Control and and or and my and my scroll. I also could do it with a uh, with the command and, and scroll on Mac. And I will just go in. Also, you could see it in here. You could zoom in with Control and Plus, Control Plus, or Command Command Plus or Command Negative. And to go like around, I just uh, like hold my, my 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 scroll, and I also could do it with a, if I'm on the on the touchpad, I could like just like a drag, and that way I or I, I could pinch to just uh, go with a zoom in. That way I get like some elements inside this uh, this this frame, and also I could create more more complex uh, shapes. For example, in here I will I will. Uh, I would want, for example, to change the color of my circle. And in here, I could do it with fill. For example, you will find in here that I could change the color with two red, for example. I can, I'm using here the hex colors. Also, I could use RGB, CSS, HS, HSL. It's huge saturation on light, lightness or brightness. Uh, also, the RGB, that is the, the, red, uh, the red, green, and blue. And I could select many, many things. I also for example, could uh, give a, a, another, uh, instead of a fill, I could give a stroke, for example, to this uh, rectangle. And I could make this the stroke of this rectangle a, a bigger. And that way I could create uh, many complex shapes. I could like have a, we will see uh, in some other videos that I could create really complex uh, figures. But uh, let's keep with these ones. I, I could like, for example, uh, go to a website. I will, well, we're on a website. I could search for the word dog and I could just go to images, take the, the photo of this dog, copy and then go back to Figma and add with control UV or just like uh, with uh, paste, paste as uh, paste uh, as is PNG and allow, will paste my my image and I could like scale it and place it on my on, on my screen. That way, if you see the Figma, it's like a, when I scale it, it's like cropping this or this this image, 
I also, for example, here in the in the in the image, I could go for image, and if I just like crop it the normal way, I could uh, this way it's using fill. I, I also could uh, could use fit to fit the, the the size, or I could for for example use crop, and I could crop the the image the the way that I like. Uh, well, we have seen that we could import many things to to Figma. So now what I would like to do it's uh, see, for example the creation of, of an interface. Let's, for example, say that I'm creating uh, the interface of a website. So normally we will have a logo. So I will search, for example, for a logo. Uh, your logo here. Uh, I will search for your logo here, image. And then I will paste it, copy, and paste it here. I will place the image in here. Uh, then for example, I would with shapes I could create like the the tree tree lines icon or the the home icon. I will zoom, and I will create for example this strange tree lines icon. If I hold Alt, I could just grab and I could uh, I could place another figure in in the bottom. For example, I will I will click click it in here, and I that way I'm creating these tree lines. I will change their color to black, and now I have this hamburger button. Uh, that will be at, at the top of my of my interface. Uh, what I could do also with this with these rectangles, I could group them. I could group this these rectangles. You will see in here with the right click. I could group this selection, and now I will have my uh, my my logo in here. I will have my my menu, and for example, I could have in here some other options. For example, I could have like a, I don't know. Let's let's put another element. For example. I could put like a, a bar, a search bar in here. I could just click and drag, and I could go to the options of the of the of the image, and also I could like um, I could I could grab and put the the search bar in here. So I I already have that, and for example, uh, I will create another desktop. This will be like for example the welcome the welcome page. I will double click to change the name. And in here, you will see that I have now the welcome and all the things that it's inside. I could duplicate this one. I could like uh, uh, I could uh, copy and paste it, like with Control C, Control V, and you will see that it's duplicated. Or, no, or also, what I normally do, it's just uh, hold Alt and drag. But in here, you will see that now I have this uh, this welcome page replicated. And it's uh, let's let's imagine that I have created this uh, this search bar or this uh, this like this nav bar that will be at the top. Nav bar will be like the navigation bar, and uh, I want and now I have it in three screens. Imagine what will happen if I just change one. It's like I will need to change it in all of them. That's why uh, in, in Figma there are like some elements that are create uh, that are called components. I could have, for example group these elements and uh, now that they're in here I will group them group the selection and in here you will see that now I have a group of elements and what I could do also it's like uh, with this group it's like will be easier to move but that's grouping what I could do to like uh, make this this replication will be to create a component what is a component actually is that just a, a component that will be replicated in all the screens uh, for example, I, I will just go here and I will create a component. Here it is. And now you will see that it changed it, changed it in here. Now, for example, if I just like click and drag, I will delete my, my components in here. I will, uh, I will now I, it will be easier to just delete this, this, uh, these two ones. And here I will replicate this one. I will control C, control UV, control UV. And now, for example, I will go for my component. And in here, I could like change it. I will double click and change this component. And in the component, I will I will add, for example, uh, a nice, a nice uh, like a ball inside the, at, at the top. I will change the color to red. And in here, you will see that this red ball has been added to all the elements on my interface. So that way, it's uh, how components work. 
and it, it, it's really useful when we are creating these interfaces that are uh, that are like large or uh, have like many shared elements and also if that's how in some way uh, when we're programming a website works we work with components and the components are like uh, this this these elements that 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 we use uh, well I could have like for example this this could be like the the about us web page about us this could be like a contact and that way we have like our our interface we could start uh, clicking and dragging but um, for the for the wireframing, framing I like to use different kind of uh, of tools we'll see one specific that it's called Fisamic. Uh previously I used one tool that it's called balsamic that it was great for prototyping and now it's uh, I use this one that it's called uh, Fisamic, that it's like a, a tool or a component. It's like a, a library that someone created. We'll see the things about library. One of the great things about Figma it's the community. The community that create a lot of comp of, of like libraries, plugins, and, and widgets. Let's start with widgets. That it's like a well. Let's start with components. That is the one that we have seen in here. For example. I could I, I created this one that it's my group. I could create it navigation bar, or also could call it map bar. We will see it that way in many places. And in here, I will see that here are my components that I created, and I could just like click it and drag it around my UI. I could be in like in a really far away uh, 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 screen in here, and I just like click it and drag it and we'll share all the components that have my uh, my original one. So that's that's great. I could uh, drag those components. But let's go to the community things. And the community things are great. Let's go for widgets. And there are many widgets that we could use. One of the principal widgets that I like, it's for example, the voting. The voting, uh, the voting app, it's like, for example, which one do you like the most? It's like uh, in here, I could add some votes. So for example, I could start uh, the the boats, and I could uh, I could place it in here. Uh, I could start it, and I could put the the boats for this one. And for example, I could ask my my partner my partners in the in the business partners to go here and vote, and you will see which one votes for this one. And it's great, for example, when we're working. Also, for example, there's one that it's called the voice voice notes or voice memos. And the voice memos will allow us, for example, give like some feedback. And I would like, for example, give feedback of this uh, of this interface. But it's like I would like to to make an audio, and I could just in here enable my microphone in my web browser and start recording. Hi, Pablo. This is a great interface, but I think you should uh, add some things at the right. I stop it, and in here it's my recording that uh, that that will say some some things. I don't know. If recording. The... Hi Pablo, this is a great interface, but I think you should. Uh... And there it is. So uh, that's that's great for working. And also, for example, I could make a status dropdown. A status dropdown could be like, what's the status of this of this uh, screen? Like, has been approved? It's like a, it's something that needs to be completed. And for example, with this status, I could just, for example, grab this. Uh, I could I could grab like a, or select a frame that. Um, of how how this one it how this one goes like uh, if it's completed if it's in progress I, I could like add the I could watch for details and also like uh, all all of the all of the widgets will have like their their details at, at the bottom and will be great for example to see that this one it's in progress uh, that way I I know when when I'm working is like this one's completed this one it's on hold because it's being reviewed by legal for example uh, but there's many many things that we could do. Uh, let's go. I will go back to to this one. Uh, that will be my main one. Uh, I will delete my that one, and we will see another one that it's uh, uh, well. We will see now the plugins. The plugins are tools that allow us to to for example search or interact uh, really with really useful tools. I, I really like some some of the um, some some of the tools. For example, I use a lot one that it's called Unsplash. For example, let's say that we are working with a with a lot of images, and you don't want to go to the internet and search for images. You just want to place up uh, use an image that is um, that is free of of uh, rights 
on the internet of a dog and here I'll just go there and here I just like go here and drag this image of a dog and now I have an image of a dog inside my inside my 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 interface I will below this in here I also there are like some uh, you will see it in here there are like premium premium uh, files and there's like free files this one for example it's free you will see that in here this one have like a splash but this one it's free and I could use it and that way I could like uh, just go on uh, and place images and for example I could place with uh, rectangles and I could just place an image inside that rectangle and that way I will just place this dog inside this rectangle and that way I could like work with a uh, really complex uh, shapes well oh, there that's one that I that I could use there's another one for example if I want to create icons there's one that it's called Iconify and Iconify it's great for for that uh, that uh, that kind of a subject I could just go for example to in here I will I, I will go to general that it, this will this, this this will be the screen that you will see and I could go for example for Google material icons and I could go for search for home a home icon and in here I could just click and drag and I will have in here my home icon and I could like for example place it in my in this interface that I have worked and I could like place it in here I could scale it clicking and dragging and that way I have my my home uh, home icon I also could, uh, for example, create an, another kind of. Uh, oh, there's there's many things that you could work with. Uh, there's like uh, you could see in here the the whole collections, and you could like uh, have a really good time searching for many many icons. Uh, I could, for example, uh, I created the menu one. I could just like, search for menu, and in the menu I will get the the menu, and, and that way I will have one more perfect menu menu icon than the one that I designed it. For sure, because I didn't took any consideration, any any kind of like a distance between my, my elements. But I could, I could like for example, when I created these three lines that it's a group, I could like take uh, this tree, and I could align them. For example, or I could distribute them. I could distribute it in vertical spacing, and I could distribute it horizontally. For example, if I want that uh, that these images to be even uh, or have even space. I could distribute it uh, in horizontal, space, horizontal spacing. And here, I'll have my three images with the same uh, space between all of them. Well, well, let's see another one that I use uh, also, that it's uh, called Blush. Blush, it's great, for example, for uh, creating these uh, kind of illustrations. It's also there. You will see that some of the uh, some of these plugins have like some in uh, in app buying, and some of them you will need to buy. Some of them you will not. For example, I will use this one of uh, uh, hyperspace, and I could use uh, the the make character, and I could place the this make character inside my my interface, and I could personalize many things. For example, I could personalize the the skin tone. I could personalize the the body. I could personalize many things. So you will see that there's many tools that the, create, that the community has created and it's really useful. And also one, let's for example, think that I need to, I need to, this will be the one that will greet us here in my interface. Uh, let's put this, these images at the bottom. Uh, let's put it at, at the bottom, distribute it, um, distribute it, but at the bottom, here at the bottom. And I will just make them a little bit to the right. And here I will create some text. I could just click text, click and drag. And in here I could like, for example, add some text, add text. I could like edit the, the text or the, or the typography. I could, uh, I could edit, you could also import your own typography. Uh, there is many things that we could do with text here in, on, on Figma. Here, for example, I'm using Inter. And you could see like some of the typographies that are included in here and uh, you could also go uh, but one of the plugins that I, I wanted to show you it's like I just want to grab my text my text was added to the to the navigation bar I will just click it and paste it outside just in, inside uh, the welcome and I will just click and I will look for a tool that it's called Lorem Lorem Ipser or Lorem Lorem Sir, 
It's a tool that let me, for example, I want to create three and I want to create three paragraphs. So I put a comma and I'm able to just uh, or write three and here I type the, the, the type that I want. I, I press tab and I will put paragraph. So I will put three paragraph in there. And that, that easy, I create three paragraphs in there. Uh, I could also do it, for example, with a, I will just click and drag. I could, uh, I could do it with a, let's run again, Lorenzo. I could do it with one, uh, would, could be one sentence. And I have one sentence. So that way you could avoid going to Lorem Ipsum, paste the, the text. Uh, that way you could have like some uh, placeholder text and it, it will be really useful. So now we have seen that we could create many things with our interfaces. But let's now replicate one interface. And uh, the way that I would like to replicate this interface, it's like uh, to, to just like get the essence or the, the essence buttons of, uh, our, of our app, for example. Of, uh, if we're replicating Spotify, we're just replicating some texts. Uh, you will see that uh, these components will be like repetitive. We will re replicate the YouTube interface. And uh, well, we will kind of still like an artist. We replicate the good practices that, uh, that some, some of the other designers have done. So UI designers or UX designers. So let's go to uh, my, my Figjam, my Fig, Figma, sorry. And uh, also I could import, uh, that's important. I could import, for example, my user journeys to here and just copy and paste them. And that's amazing. But let's, uh, I will delete all, all my screens and I will, I will just delete everything on my interface. I will create a, a file. I will change it, the file name to YouTube, YouTube, uh, YouTube UI. And that way, I would like to create uh, uh, one my first screen. I will just go to a desktop. I will create a desktop. And I will create, a, let's go for a desktop. And in here, I will go to uh, YouTube. And in YouTube, I will just put it in my screen. I will do a screenshot. Remember that you could do uh, um, Windows S, uh, Shift S and you could make a screenshot. Um, I will just do the screenshot. You could do it with Command Shift and uh, 4 with, uh, with Mac. And I will just paste it on my interface. You will see that my screen is bigger. I will just like uh, kind of crop it because I, won't, I want to duplicate that, uh, that size. I will just adjust the size of my desktop to actually the desktop of in here. Uh, so now you will see that my image is not inside my desktop. Now it's not. It's like uh, you will see that now it's below. That's why I'm not seeing anything. Now it's inside. And you will see that if I make it bigger, it will kind of crop it. Uh, and what I will need to do is I will press the right button and I will lock it. What will help me to lock it? That I, now I'm trying to replicate uh, this, this uh, interface and I don't want to. I don't want to like press the elements. Uh, we could create we could create all the elements with uh, the the tools that that I have uh, that I have showed you, but I told you about a, a tool that is called FigJam, and that's one of the greatest things about the community that you could just go and check what the community has done. For example, if I just go to Lorem Sir, uh, and I will just uh, I will add the Lorem Sir. And in here, I will just go, or let's go for the widgets. And in here, I just go like, for example, to this one, I will just open it. And I will see here that I could go to the, uh, the community to see more details. This will open the community. And in the community, we'll see all the, th all the things. This is the, the, the info of the tool. But in the community, you could see all the things that people have uploaded. You could see all the design systems, all the visual systems, all the things for development, for wireframing. And there's many things for wireframing. Uh, I told you I used to, or I used to use one that is called Balsamic. Balsamic is a great tool because what it does, it's, it creates really simple interfaces. It's like you don't, 
normally when you show it to a client and you show it like with the colors, it's like, uh, oh no, that's not the colors of our business. And it's like, no, 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 don't focus on that. It's just like the functionality, but they don't, it's really difficult for them to get the attached from, from that. So that's why I, why I like to use uh, Fisamic. That what help us, it's to create, for example, I will just search for Fisamic here at the top. And the Fisamic, it's a low fidelity UI kit. And you will see in here, like normally people will place uh, what it is. Uh, in here, it's divided in two pages. You will see, uh, we'll see it about pages in, in a moment. And in here, you will see that it has many, many elements that we could use. Just drag to our UI and try to avoid like just uh, breaking our head. So what I will do is open it in Figma. This will, what it will do, it's, it will replicate this file in my um, in my in my like in my own files, so I will open it, and it will open it in Figma. Uh, at the beginning, you will see that there is nothing at uh, at Fisamic, and you will be like, "Why it's not working?" But in in Figma, we are also able to create pages. You will see that in here we have a cover and we have a UI kit. The UI kit is the one that have like all the elements inside. And we will be able to create this kind of amazing uh, concepts or wireframes that actually use the the most basic elements of our of our like UI. And what I like to do, or the way that I use it, it's like normally I just select all these elements, I just click and drag, and I just uh, copy them on my workspace. And in here, I will just go and paste them. And it's pasting, and now they are here at the bottom. I will just like click and drag to have it in here. Uh, normally, the ones that I use the most are here at the, at, the, at the beginning. So what I will start doing, it's creating all the elements with this, uh, with this just uh, most essential things. So for example, for all the images, and to avoid like bringing all the things that will not uh, make the, our client not focus on the on the UI, I will just, for example, control control C and control V, control paste this element, and I will just place this image in here. For the image, for example, I will just like place a, an ellipse here at the bottom. I will just zoom, and what I will do, it's I I click and drag, I press Shift, and I will press uh, Alt at the same time. And that way, I could like um, I could like make my my circle bigger or smaller. That way, in here, I I think that's the right side, the right size. That's the way I like it. And in here, I will just not place uh, text. I will just place, for example, this is a subtitle. I will just place it in here. A subtitle. Uh, we will replicate the whole interface. On, on the colors of uh, that that we're seeing, so I will change it to uh, uh, black. Uh, oh, to white. Sorry, we will change it to white. We will make it the, the, this box bigger, and that way we we have like the the subtitle, and then we could add like some normal text. I could go to the bottom, and I could like for for this one that is text or paragraph. Control C, Control U B, and I will just click and drag and put it in here. That way, we will see that uh, that this is more like in a grayish, so it will be a little bit like that. Uh, I could have like in here, I have my desktop, and in my desktop, I will need to, I could like click and see the elements. The text will not be visible, but for example, I could add like a, a background. Uh, I could make the background of the desktop. Uh, and here I will add a field that will be black. So that that way, when I just like visualize uh, my, I could see my interface in black. So now I created my first element that you will see like, oh, what a boring thing to do all the, all the elements. No, we learned that we could do like this kind of components. So now I will create a component with these three elements and uh, I will just, I could group them or I just create the, 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 the component straight and I will create a component and that way I could just I create this component that could be the re replicated in here 
So I will just like move them. I will place them in, in my interface. I'm clicking and dragging with, with Alt and Shift. And that way I, I place them. If I'm not sure if they're evenly spaced, I could uh, certify that they're like a distributed or with horizontal spacing. I could like click and then drag and add this one. I, I made it like so simple. Uh, and I didn't add the, 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 that information, but uh, let's do it for, for a matter of time really quickly. I will place, for example, the navigation bar that is here, that it's here or the search bar, sorry, the, the search bar that it's at the top. I will place my search bar in here. I will make it bigger. I could place a microphone, like the microphone, it's like uh, I could create it with vectors. But we have seen that we have this tool that it's called uh, that it's called uh, uh, Iconify. So let's uh, press Iconify. And in Conify, let's look for a microphone or record. And I could use this one. If I want to use the, actually the ones that are, that are used by Google, so that is the one on YouTube, I could use this one. And a microphone, let's, let's put it micro, microphone. And I could use this one. Uh, I could place it inside. Uh, I could place it inside my. Ah, oh, I, 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 there's uh, this, this one, it's like a kind of a frame by itself, and inside is the vector. I will move the whole vector to here, and I could like place it inside my circle or my ellipse. That way, and here I could place it behind. I could like go to send to back, or I could go. I could place it in here, and that way will be in the. I could place it in the middle, just like to in the middle, and in, oh sorry, it's here. It's in in the middle, and in the middle. So now it's in the middle of the of the circle. I could group them. Um, these these two elements. I could right click, and now. There are kind of group. I don't know. It's here. It's group selection, and now I have my my circle, and now I could create the. I will uh, I will add uh, for example a menu. I will just add my menu, search. I will click and drag my menu in here. Here it will be placed. I could change the color of this menu. That will be uh, white, and it's done. I could trace uh, the logo, or I could also put uh, something uh, something in here. I could put like a kind of images. I could put like a, uh, or we could put like logo logo word. We could put an image in here that will be like the actual actual image of YouTube, and we will put in text with a I I press T for the the for the for the text, and I will put premium. That it's the YouTube premium. I could even, uh, research which is the, the the text. You will see that with text, it works different. Like when we scale, because we scale the the, the, the text box. That's when it will be useful. The uh, scale tool. The scale tool actually will scale the whole text. You will see that it scales the whole text, not just the box. And I could use it in bold. I just press Control B. Or I could go here and search for bold. And I will play, press it in here. Premium, I will make it bigger because I don't have the, the, the text. And then I could also uh, make these lines with my line. Uh, it's stone. I could replicate it in here. And I could create. Uh, we, we will see that there are like some elements that are components and some elements that are um, um, components and other are the ones that will replicate in the whole in the whole UI. For example, these ones will be components. And uh, in here, for example, this one will replicate in the in the in the whole page. So uh, here I will put your channel. I could put the text of all of them. I think for a matter of time, I will not do all of them. I will just uh, put like a, a holder for for this one. 
Uh, but I recommend that if you do uh, the exercise, try to put all of them and I will put like I replicate them. And I could also check out that uh, they are like even spaced. And I could, uh, this one will be icons. So I could uh, create also uh, an ellipse that uh, will have this, this kind of icons. I could go and search for all these icons at, uh, at actually uh, the interface of uh, Iconify. But I will make it simpler. I will just click and drag your channel. And here I will go, I could click and, uh, I could copy them. They are not even spaced. You will pardon my my quickness right now. I just want to you to show how it ended ended up. And after I place these ones, I need to place just uh, the subscriptions. For example, in here, I could place subscriptions and subscriptions. And also, I will place the, the the one that it's at the top. Subscriptions. If I had the 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 typo, I could import it also. You could import uh, typographies. That's one of the great the, the greatest things also about Figma. And in here, I will have also these ones that are at the top. And really quickly, I just created like almost all the interface. I could uh, I could make this one, for example, with uh, with the one that is here at the at the bottom. I could go I could go also place I will place the scroll bar that it's here at the right. To to I will Control C, click and Control U V, and now the scroll bar is I kind of lost it. Ah, it's in here. If if sometimes if you lose something, you could like frame selection and will be uh, placed. And I will put them at the right. I will just click, drag, and that's my nav bar, my, my scroll bar, sorry. And now I will just, for example, use this one for the, it's not the, the same, the same uh, menu, uh, this like tags, but we'll help, we'll, we'll do the, we'll do the work in here. For example, I could go for this one and replicate it and we have our interface and we have created um i will just hide this one and i created like the like the essential of of the youtube interface and i could then test this with my users and uh, this will be really useful for uh debugging if i create the the, the shorts at the, at the bottom will be i think better i could also just change one and I, you will notice that I changed everything. I could create another one for the shorts at the bottom. And also that it's important, I, if I wanted to create the whole page, I could go to the top and then I will. I could uh, click and drag and I could make like the whole page uh, that, that had like a, that has you too. For example, I could see like all the all the elements that I uh, kind of screen, screenshot. Uh, so I could not make this, this one and uh, it will be really useful to replicate the whole, the whole interface. And with that, uh, I finished this this video. Uh, there's many things that we could do with uh, with Figma, and uh, I will invite you to replicate this this interface. And uh, also, you could get like some information or some inspiration from uh, pages like Behance, Revolt, Pinterest to find some designs that you you could like. And uh, with that, I think I covered the whole introductory video for Figma and create these uh, wireframes with uh, with many tools. Thanks.